So guys, this is my Wolves v Liverpool preview, but just before I get into that, some transfer news. First of all, Nuno and Raul Jimenez have both said they're going to wait till the end of the season to decide what will happen. It is a joint decision between Nuno, the board and Jimenez whether he stays permanently or not, and it will be around for about 30 million, which to be honest guys, with the way he's been performing and contributing with goals and assists, is definitely worth it. Second of all as well guys, really in jail side could be coming to Wolves if it's permanent or loan, either would be good. And just to clarify this, that doesn't mean really in from Chelsea will be going to Manchester United and Mourinho is going to loan him out to us. Because that would be a fantastic signing. But we're not quite there yet. It's really in jail side, real Solskjaer striker who has scored quite... Had quite a good record in that league, to be fair, uh, the past couple of seasons. This season, though, he's played 13 games and scored three goals. Not the best and not the worst. Anyway, guys, let's get on with my Wolves v Liverpool preview. So then, guys, Wolves v Liverpool is the last game before Christmas for us. It's going to be a tough game. It's also going to be an exciting one. I'm looking forward to this. If there's one team in the Premier League who can stop Liverpool's unbeaten one, it is Wolves. So then guys, Wolves v Liverpool is the last game before Christmas for us. It's going to be a tough game, it's also going to be an exciting one. I'm looking forward to this. If there's one team in the Premier League who can stop Liverpool's unbeaten one, it is Wolves. Wolves, we come in after a tough period and then a fantastic period. Every game in December so far has been perfect and Wolves want to continue that. So far, three wins, 2-2-1 two, two, wins and a 2-0 win. So we've scored two goals in the past three games. And so far in December, we've scored six, conceded two. The defence has got a lot better. The team's performances haven't exactly got better. Some of them against Newcastle and Bournemouth as well weren't the best, but the results were fantastic. Poor well, guys, I know they've won the last six, including the last latest victory, which was yesterday against Man United. They won three goals to one. Shakiri coming off the bench, who I think is an absolute fantastic player, and also Mane scoring as well. Lingard scored for Man United, but that was through an Alisson error, which I do have to say, Alisson is a fantastic keeper, fantastic saves in that, but sometimes he does have those errors in him. And I think for Wolves, if we can pressure him enough into one of those errors, that will give us a route into the Liverpool goal. My only concern with the Liverpool match is that Wolves recently haven't performed as well, and especially against a team like Liverpool where they like to pass and move the ball, we're not going to see much of the ball. The only thing is, is that Liverpool, when you keep getting under pressure from Liverpool, you know it's just going to come. As soon as that one goal comes in, it's really hard to react. But well, like I said though guys, if there's one team in the Premier League that has shown that against top six teams, it's in their natural ability to be able to compete and get results, it is Wolves. As I said, only losing one of the games against the top six and only having Liverpool left to play and collecting six points is something that, especially for a newly promoted side, it is fantastic. I do think this is going to be a tough game and for the starting lineup, I don't think he's really going to really change it. If he does, he's going to bring Sias in. And he's going to have to bring someone in for Jota if he's not fit, which I don't think he will be. Those are the only changes I can see him making. For me, guys, I'd bring Cavallaro in for Jota and that would be it. Really, speaking really, because Cavallaro is the only winger that has shown, compared to Costa and Traore, he's got that finishing ability. Traore and Costa, whether they have a good game or bad game, they just haven't shown that quite yet. Costa... Not performing the greatest, but has got two assists in the last two games as well. So it is something to think about, but I'll go with Cavallero. So guys, I'm going to give my prediction. I've been, I got the Chelsea prediction right and I've been close since then, just a goal off or whatever. But I am going to stick with the faithful pack. I do think Nuno can get the tactics perfect. I do think Wolves, if we perform, can get something out of this match. And I think Liverpool's unbeaten run is about to come to an end. I'm going to go Wolves 2, Liverpool 1. Hey guys, that's it from me today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And let me know in the comment section how you think Wolves can get on against Liverpool. I know Liverpool fans are going to say a 5-0 win and I know Wolves fans might be looking optimistic. So let me know in the comment section and I'll speak to you guys later.